what is going on i have words so today we're going to talk about a future study hasn't come out yet but has an interesting premise super important especially for those who want to do intermittent fasting without any further ado let's jump right into it so a professor by the name of ying zhao zhao is the assistant professor of medicine at yukon health and he's done so many different studies looking at gut microbiota or the microbiome in your gut and that can determine gut health and gut activity and he's done even microbiota studies with a control group and ms patients to see if there was a difference what is the difference in the gut microbiome and the gut microbiota between the two now he did about 12 weeks and he had baseline data for this group he is going to now compare and contrast the baseline data from this group th those who were the control group and those with the ms patients um, and he's going to look at what the differences are between people that have ms and or don't have it uh, and don't do intermittent fasting versus those who do intermittent fasting in a clinical trial now he did see a difference between ms and control uh, patients but he is of the understanding of intermittent fasting creating different physiological elements in the body Body. things change when you're not consistently eating all the time especially in the biological complex nature of your gut microbiome and that's the data that's going to allow him to see if there's anything different if there's benefits to doing intermittent fasting that creates simply a residual effect of better gut health now i can't wait until this study is released they're currently working on this study right now but once it's released i can bet you that i will be doing a video on that study we definitely want to know what's the difference keep in mind this study has never been done in humans it has been done in rodents and it was a positive outcome in rodents but it has never been done in humans so this is a special study because this marks the beginning of looking into this data when it relates to intermittent fasting let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below are you here for it do you want to know because remember the better your gut is the better you can control things physiologically even weight loss so this is an important thing sometimes a lot of people uh, sometimes weight loss becomes difficult for a lot of people because of their gut health so it's important to know studies like this even when you're looking at it just from a weight loss perspective so once that study drops you know fledge fitness will be right on top of it all right guys i'm super excited about this and of course patreons will be pinned down in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one